You are about to join us on an adventure. My name is Wanger Wedgie, intrepid explorer, former marine, Bible lover, and friend to animals everywhere. I've traveled the four corners of the globe, climbed mountains, forged rivers, and faced countless dangers to bring you the world's most interesting creatures. This is Quitter Kingdom. Say Wanger Wedgie together? Wanger Wedgie. No, you said Wanger Wedgie. It's not Wanger Wedgie, it's Wanger Wedgie. Let's try it again. Wanger Wedgie. Wedgie. You're still saying Wanger Wedgie. Are you teasing me? Let's try it one more time. Wanger Wedgie. Wanger Wedgie. Okay, we'll practice next week. All right, well, welcome all aboard the Safari Express. <laughs> Today, the Safari Express is making a whistle stop in Holland. Let's see Holland on the map. Holland is all the way across the ocean in Europe. See how far away it is? It is 4,550 miles away. But it is a beautiful land. Oh, it is so full of, of flowers and windmills and beautiful people and lovely creatures. And every week on Quitter Kingdom... <laughs> We like to pick out our favorite creature to study. We call it our Quitcha Feature! Alright, we have a special friend who comes out to give us clues. We call him Handsome. Come on out, Handsome! Say hello to the kids! <laughs> handsome, do you have a clue about today's Quitter? Oh, let's see what he's got. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, these are beautiful flowers. These are tulips. Thank you, handsome. Tulips grow in Holland, and they're very important to Holland. In fact, it's one of the things that they make the most money on in the whole country. They sell tulips to other countries. And this one has a note that says, Earthworm. Today's creature feature is the earthworm. Let's have a look at the earth. Ooh, isn't he beautiful? Oh, what a lovely creature. Now... Earthworms are very pretty, and you girls might be tempted to want to kiss them, but you must be very careful, because you cannot trust them. They seem very peaceful and calm, but suddenly they are spring into action and attack you at any moment. So only handle them if you are a trained professional. And that is why I have invited a trained professional from here in Holland to join us today aboard the Safari Express. Welcome, if you will, Waz, the Earthworm Wangworm. Hello. Hello, Hello Waz. Come on aboard. Oh, I like your choo-choo. Oh, I like your clothing. Oh, thank you, Bill. It is an authentic Dutch outfit from the mid-1800s. Wow. Does everyone in Holland dress like you? No, just me. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> well, it's very lovely, very becoming. Now, um, I notice you have some earthworms there, Waz. <laughs> Be very careful, because they look extremely aggressive. Well, I think these earthworms are tame. They should be safe, but just don't turn your back on them. <laughs> no. Many people don't know this, but earthworms are actually very nutritious. Would you like to try one, Ranger Reggie? They are full of protein. Oh, as delicious as that sounds, I think I will pass, because we need those earthworms to aerate the soil. Ah, that is true, yeah. Earthworms are very good for the environment because they dig into the ground, leaving little tunnels so that the air can get deep into the dirt. Yeah. Yes, and then that air comes up to where the seeds are, mm -hmm. and it helps the seeds to grow little sprouts and to mm -hmm. blossom into beautiful flowers. Yeah. <gasps> and speaking of seeds, it reminds me of today's Bible story. Let's get out the Bible right now. <laughs> See, today's story is the, sto the parable of the sower. Oh, sewing. My mom loves to sew. She sewed all my clues. Oh, no, no, no. This is not that kind of sewing with a needle and thread. This is a different kind. This is about sowing seeds. Oh, like throwing seeds on the soil. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. 
Hey, Waz, I've got an idea. What? Why don't we act out this story using all of the kids? Okay. Excellent. All right, all right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's start over here. From about you over to here, all of you are going to be the birds, all right? So when, when we give you the cue, you're going to flap your wings and chirp. Can chirp, we hear you? Chirp, 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 chirp. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, that sounds good. All right. Now, from here over to you, you guys are going to be the walks. Waz, would you like to train the walks? Okay. Oh let me God. pump you up. Let me see those muscles. Let me see them, okay? So when the music starts, you're going to box like this. All right. And then wither. Oh, okay, wither. Okay. okay, so here we go. Practice. Excellent. All right, now. This next group over here, now you're going to start from here over to about here, and this whole group back here, you're gonna be the thorns, okay? Now the thorns, you have special music too, but when you hear your music, you're gonna grow and grow and grow, and then you get choked. <laughs> so you have to stand up on this one, okay? You ready? All right, let's play their music. Let's see the thorns. You guys wait, you're the other last And choke yourself. Oh, awesome. All right, you may have a seat. All right, last group over here. Okay, you guys are the good soil. And when you hear your music, you are gonna grow and grow and grow. Let's hear your music. Let it go, let it go. I walk in the wind and sky. Excellent. Oh, you may have a seat. You may have a seat. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, my. My goodness. Somebody's having a bad reaction oh, to frozen over there. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, is everybody ready to act out the story? Okay, everybody, you all know your part. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. All right, let's start over here. A far let's read from the Bible. Shh. A farmer went out to sow his seed, and as he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path. It was trampled on, and the birds of the air ate it up. Birds, stand, stand up, 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 stand up. Let me hear you, birds. Very good. Very good. Very good. Ooh, those are some good birds. <laughs> All right. Get ready, rocks. Get ready. Now, some fell on the rocks. Stand up, rocks. And when it came up, the plants withered because they had no moisture. Okay. Let's grow, rocks. Get ready. Get ready. Thorns. Okay, Get ready. Okay, now yeah. your thorns ready. All right, thorns. Other seed fell among the thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Okay, thorns, do your dance. And choke yourself. Okay, the last group. Where's it up? Good soil, let us see you grow. Still other seed fell on good soil. It came up and yielded a crop a hundred times more than was sown. Okay, let's see you grow. Let it go, let it go. I walk with the wind and sky. Let it go. Excellent. Let it go. Yeah, yeah. Give yourselves a round of applause. You guys did so well that we guys did so well that we are going to make a recording of the soundtrack of Frozen and give it to this guy right here. <laughs> yeah, oh, so. that's perfect. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So that was a very fun Shh. game, Ranger. It was fun, but, yeah. But tell me what it means. Oh, you know what? I'm glad you asked me that, Was Because the seed, the seed that the sower was sowing, that stands for the Word of God. Oh, so mm -hmm. the good news that Jesus is the Lord of our lives. That's right. The good news is kind of like a seed because we spread it to everyone who will listen. That makes a lot of sense. Yes. Yeah. Now, what do you think the birds stand for? Alfred Hitchcock. No. No, the birds don't stand for Alfred Hitchcock. No, the birds stand for the devil who steals God's word so that those people don't believe that Jesus is Lord. And what, and what do the Muslim people stand for? What do oh, they stand well, the ones for? on the walk, they're the people who are happy to hear about Jesus at first, but they don't take the time to follow him and get to know him, so the seed never takes root. Hmm. Hmm. And the ones that grew up with the thorns and got choked, but... But who choked them? Well, they get choked by things. Yeah, see, they want to follow Jesus, but they become too busy worrying about all the things in the world. The good things, the bad things. They get distracted so much that they never spend time growing close to God. 
Hmm, that is very sad. But the last group is very happy. <laughs> yes, because they are the good seed that grows and grows and grows. Here, read what the Bible says about them. Oh, I get to read the Bible. That's a bingo. Mm -hmm. It says, but the seed on the good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart who hear the word, retain it, and by preserving, produce a croup. No, no, a crop. Oh. Yeah, a crop. That means a lot of fruit. Yeah, oh, okay. that's the you know that's the way I want to whip my wife. Well, I want to produce a crop, but how can we be like the good soil? Well, we can promise to follow God and put His word in our heart and do right things in His way instead of doing them our own way. Oh, but Ranger Reggie, how did we do all that? Well, the instructions are right within our campus code that we say every week. Oh. Let's all stand and say it together. Everybody stand and raise your white hand. Uh, I will say this. And was would you repeat it with the kids? Oh, yeah. I love, I love God, God with all my heart. heart. I will love my neighbor as myself. I, I will be a white wherever, wherever I, go. I go. Excellent. Give yourselves a round of applause. Stay on your feet because we're going to sing in just a moment. But first, I want to thank our special guest, the Earthworms. Yes. And of course, oh, there you are. Sorry, Waz. I was countering. <laughs> and this is our good friend, Waz. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, Bill. And give you yourself Bill. a round of applause. You did a great job telling that story. Now let's invite Miss Mary Wee over to lead us in our Camp Critter song. That's right. We're going to sing our Camp Critter song. But first, we need to raise our flag and date. David had already uh, I'd asked David to come on up, and if you could raise that flag. Ooh, yeah. Get that on up there, buddy. Good job. And then you can come on up here, because we got to get this train going. But before we do that, I've got an important question to ask. What does the fox say? <laughs> Discotheque, yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> we have an important question to ask, and that is, what does the earthworm say? Oh, yes. Yeah. What does the earthworm say? say? Yeah. I think the earthworm says, squish, 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 squish. Oh, I like that. Squish, squish. 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 Yeah. All right. All right. Good. And last week we had the falcon, and the falcon says, caw, caw, caw. All right, you ready to get our train started? It sounds so, different, but yeah. All right. <laughs> A little faster. You think so? You guys yeah. think you can do it a little faster? 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 You think you can do it faster? Yeah. Can you do it faster? All right. I spied an earthworm crawling by. Jumped on the train that had a cry. Squish, squish, squish. It's wise to know which seed will grow. All the more it's time to sow. The earthworm is here to lead the way. Squish, squish, squish. In Howland, they sing it twice as fast. Yeah. Twice as fast? They do. We yeah. like it fast, yeah. I don't know. Our band, do you think guys think you can do that twice as fast? We can try. We can try. All right. Come on, David. We got to get the train going. <laughs> 